by your local 76 dealers who invite you to go with the spirit, the spirit of 76. By counter, lock and load, closed handling system. By Farm Bureau Insurance and the more than 600 Farm Bureau Insurance agents across Indiana. And by Edie's Grand Ice Cream, America's finest premium ice cream made in Indiana with Hoosier pride. Live from Carver Hawkeye Arena on the campus of the University of Iowa, welcome to Big Ten Basketball. Tonight, the Hoosiers, 21 and 4, 11 and 2 in conference play, will go against the 8 and 6 Hawkeyes. Hello everyone, Chuck Marlowe here at courtside, along with my colleague John Laskowski. And Laz, it's down now to a four-game season. It really is. A lot of years Indiana needs help from somebody. Not this year. They win the rest of their four ball games. They will be the Big Ten champions. Let's take a look now at our Napa important parts of the game. For Indiana discipline, it's so important today. Iowa tries to get you out of your game plan with the full court press up and down the floor action. Indiana's got to keep that discipline. If they don't, that will lead to turnovers, which will be easy baskets for Iowa. And Iowa's part, ACO is their leader, six foot ten center, 19 and a half points a game, eight rebounds. Indiana's got to find a way to stop him. And rebounding, a perennial strength for the Iowa Hawkeyes, it really helps them again with this year's team. Give your car the starting power it needs. Get the Napa legend, the better battery. We're all set to go back with the starting lineups in just a moment. If you're into looking good, get into Bud Light. The clean, fresh taste won't fill you up, never let you down. You can't taste it, feel it, know you got it right. Cause everything else is just a light. Everything else is just a light. Everything else is just a light. Everything else. Hello, friend. Al Fernell on our family farm here at Simpsonville, Kentucky. My brother and I make old folks country sausage the way our daddy taught us. We use the ham, shoulders, loins, and bacon, seasoned it with all natural spices. We make it with Italian seasoning, hot or mild, any way you like it. So when you're at your favorite store, pick up a package of old folks. You'll see what I mean when I say it's good. <laughs> and forward for the Hawkeyes, a 6'4 senior from Carson, California, number 24, James Paulson. <laughs> and the other forward for the Hoosiers, a 6'9 freshman from Carmel, Indiana, number 44, Alan Henderson. And for the Hawkeyes, and forward, a 6'8 sophomore from Indianola, number 40, Chris Street. Games has been very successful, and for Iowa, they really got to watch Earl in the center. Anderson have his hands full today. Okay, we'll be back with the opening tip-off following these messages. Knight comes in with 480 wins at Indiana against 157 losses, looking for his 481st win at IU. Tom Davis, on the other hand, 126 wins, 60 losses at Iowa, just recently became uh, another coach to reach that coveted 400 win mark uh, with a victory here in Big Ten play. Last up. Uh, one of the keys for Indiana, I think, has been the great play that's come out of the freshman, Allen Henderson. There you see his stats. He really has played well, Chuck. The leading rebounder on the team for the last five games. He's made some very difficult shots, and he's come up with a lot of steals. As you see right here, Henderson, a big part of today's ball game. The officials for tonight's game, Jody Sylvester, Ted Valentine, and Burl Sell. Sylvester, the referee as we are set to get things underway. Well, a very balmy day in Iowa City. This place is loud already, and the, with this press that we expect Iowa to, to play, 
that could really get this crowd excited more. It kind of snowballs effects. And when Indiana's had trouble here, they've won three times here and since 83. It's been that press has been the downfall. That was a bad tip, and uh, Jody will send it back up again. He was trying to get both centers, A.C. Earl and Allen Henderson, squared away. And the uh, timing of both was off. The tip is up controlled now by Barnes of Iowa. Immediately to Smith, and they start looking to penetrate right away. Now they sit on a, a perimeter with Street on the outside. And they set their half-court offense. Look for him to try to go into Earl. You see him posting up right there. Anderson playing behind him. Moses handling briefly. Street. Street is a threat from three-point range. Moses tries to step in past Cheney. Here's Smith. Great half-court defense by Indiana. Look how they use the corner there to try to block Iowa in. Moses sends three on the way and cans the first basket of the game. Iowa takes the early lead. And immediately a little token press by Street. Indiana up now facing it's man to man. man. Bob Knight greatly concerned about the way the Hoosiers played in the game against Illinois, largely due to the fact that they were impatient. Here's Anderson falling away, and the rebound pulled down by Street. So the Hawkeyes come up blazing as the first shot banged up off the glass by Earl. Street tries to put it back up again, knocked out of his hands. Iowa ball. Oh, they had a golden opportunity. Just too many taps against the board. Let Indiana get back in. All right, Street has got two quick rebounds here. He's second in the conference in rebounding. There you see Tom Davis just celebrating that last victory over Minnesota. Just two on that one as James Moses comes out firing. He has all the points. It's 5-0 Iowa. All right, a little three-quarter court trap. They bring Street way up. Indiana breaks it easily. Back out to Anderson. A cut by Graham. A delay soft off the rim. Back up again by Bailey. He gets the bounce of the ball. A tough shot by Graham, but Bailey somehow knows where that ball is going to be. Blocked away. Out of bounds. It'll be Iowa ball. Good defense by Indiana, but good penetration by the Hawkeyes. Uh, Indiana's not getting back quick enough on defense. Twice now, Iowa's just beating them down the floor offensively. Both times, however, a layup shot has been missed. Tipped away by Graham. It's tough to win here. Iowa has only lost one game in conference play here. That was the opening game in overtime to Michigan. Knocked away. And still Iowa ball. There's Knight. 582 career wins for this man. Hall of Famer. Smith guarded by Graham. Dishes back to Barnes for three. Yes! Barnes and Moses are the most effective three-point shooters Iowa has. They've each made one to give them that 8-2 to two lead. Indiana with just one basket as Henderson lets it fly. That's hard. Earl clears. Now watch how quickly Iowa tries to get up the floor. Good job by Cheney there to prevent it. A pull up. And right on target, everybody is hitting. Kevin Smith has his first field goal, and they have their shooting clothes on. It is a 10-2 Iowa lead. Anderson pulls up, cans it for Indiana. Good job. He worked a little extra after the workout this morning on that jump shot, and you can see it paid off there. Barnes for three. No, rebound Anderson. Good block out there by Anderson on Earl. Looks like Iowa's going to go with that outside game and that three-point shot. Cheney for three. That's off the mark, way off the mark. Indiana, however, back up. It's to Cheney from Henderson. Good pass by Henderson. Earl was coming over. He leads the Big Ten and block shots, and he simply dumped it off to Cheney, and Indiana's back in the ball game. 10-6, Iowa. Smith, now Indiana getting Iowa into a half-court game. That's what they want, Chuck. They've got to slow this ball game down and use their half-court defense. That's a travel. Pearl Sell steps over as Street, trying to gather himself up, moves his feet. Yeah, Iowa will not be as effective against Indiana's defense, but you can see how quickly 
they can bring that ball down. It's it's two teams, Chuck, that really play a, their own style. Indiana's motion offense, man-to-man -man defense, and Iowa the fast court, uh, full court press, the fast break, the good rebounding. It seems the players change names every year, but the style of the two coaches stays the same, and it looks like another classic battle here today. Two substitutions, Chris Reynolds for Indiana, Wade Looking Bill for Iowa. Looking Bill is guarding Cheney, step in by Bailey, off the rim, two times, flip back out by Cheney. He was skied to get up on that ball. Three, no, it's not gonna go. Anderson, back up and in. Anderson fighting hard for position. Well, we talked about rebounding. Indiana's taking advantage of some second opportunities. The three-point shot not falling. Indiana was nine of 15 from the three-point line against Iowa in the first ball game, but the rebounding's making up for it. To Earl, he's double. Tries to work his way out of it. No room to move. Out of bounds. Indiana ball. We have a timeout. 15:40 left in the first half. Indiana trails 10 to 8, and we'll be back after these messages. Because the quick pace that Iowa likes to play. Meeks. Cheney for three. No. And the rebound. He looks a little hurried on that shot. Two three pointers almost from the same area. And he's uh, missed both of them to the left. Jay Webb cleared the boards. He was in at the last time out for Iowa. Skinner is also in. He wears number 11. Look for him. Moses from the side. James Moses. And a whistle and a foul. It's a great way to break that press. Jamal was dribbled right between two defenders. Let's watch now. He got there before the trap could, could materialize. The contact's made, and that's the foul. Great play there. Jamal using his quickness to beat that press. All right, Indiana working the ball in. Here's Meeks. Indiana trailing by four, 12-8. Nover. Over to Cheney. He gets the basket, draws the foul. What a move. Boy, some great plays there. As Nover, like uh, Jamal, cuts through the trap. Let's watch. He does the right thing, cuts through the trap. He gets it to Jamal. No way he's going to go over Earl. He looks weak side to Cheney. Watch this shot. Wow, the left hand does hook goes, and now Cheney gets the uh, the shot. Coach brings the two guards over to talk some strategy. It is 12-11, Cheney hitting for his fifth point as Indiana is back in the game. Street and Skinner. Anderson on Street. Street is a good outside shooter, three-point range. But see how far Iowa's got their offense now. Exactly what Indiana wants. The difference between that fast break and the half-court offense Iowa runs. Cheney guarding Moses. Now they're working the ball down. Styes starts the drive on Anderson. Good position. Skinner, 13 seconds on the shot clock. Skinner. And travels. He dribbled into a trap that time. And it looks like he got poked in the eye also. In the process, he double dribbled, give that turnover to Indiana. Full court press now by the Hawkeyes. The I Iowa forced 17 Indiana turnovers in that first game. And right there's one for Iowa as Jamal tried to reach with one hand. Girl Sell under the basket makes the call to Iowa. So Iowa gets the ball right back. Moses from the side, no good. Throws it right back into the Hawkeyes. Luking Bill. Very tough pass there. Under to Earl. He gets the basket. AC Earl's first field goal. And draws the foul. Well, Indiana just out hustled right there all the way around. Mismatch, of course, with Earl and Reynolds. And he makes that bump there unintentionally. First foul 
called against Indiana's Chris Reynolds, the 6'1 junior from Peoria. Early 66% shooter from the strike. He'll try to make it a three point play. It is back to a four point lead. Iowa 15, Indiana 11. Hoosiers on the attack. Here's the zone. Anderson. Oh, oh the Hoosiers get a break there. The ball right through the hands of Nova. Meeks from three. No. Anderson with the rebound. But a foul. That will be called against Indiana. That's on Matt Nover, his first. First time we've seen the zone by Iowa. Uh, looks like a 3 2 zone trying to force that outside shot. That also gives Iowa good inside rebounding position. Kevin Smith will bring it up uncontested. Iowa with a four point lead, a chance to expand on that with 13 23 left to play. In the first half, here comes Meeks after the rebound. See what Indiana can do this time. Iowa just daring Indiana to shoot over. Anderson down to Cheney. Up and in. Calvert Cheney. He got it on the baseline and then was able to take a couple dribbles. Turned out to be more, no more than a layup. AC Earl over and over. Rebound by Anderson off the air ball. Reynolds, Anderson, Cheney, three. Yes! And Indiana's taking shot. the first lead. 16 15, Les. Looked like he was inside that line, yep, but they uh, called it three. They called it, you're right, Chuck, a three point play. And this crowd really starting to buzz now. They can't believe the comeback Indiana's made. Down to Earl. He gets the basket to fall. Very, very careless foul by Indiana. That's on Nover. His second. Now watch how Earl calls for the ball on the side. And now instead of going up like he's 6'10", he comes in like a guard. See how low he is? But he faked Nover out to go high. And then the foul with the body. And Earl gets the basket. 17-16. Iowa back in front by one. The guards again, Reynolds and Meeks. Meeks uh, sitting down, however, as Bailey is back in along with Graham. Cheney taking a rest for the Hoosiers. And AC Earl again with his second consecutive three point play. We have a foul before Indiana can get the ball up. And that's on Val Barnes. His first. That is team foul three. And the third team foul against the Hawkeyes. Here it comes Indiana breaking it easily. It was A.C. Earl's father in the black shirt we saw. Not happy at all with that call. Anderson from the side. Yes. And Eric beginning to show some rhythm. He really is. He, he seemed like he was trying to guide that shot the last couple games. And this morning in practice, he just ended up shooting it. And that's exactly what he's doing today. Not We're catching training as much on it. goes in easier. We're tied at 18. Under to Earl. That's his spot. That is a sweet spot for A.C. Earl. And the Hoosiers need to help there. Indiana trailing by two, 20 to 18. 11 and a half minutes left in the first half. Steel, good alert play. Here it is up court to street. And good hustle by Indiana. Laid it up and in, however, but uh, out of bounds before the basket, I believe. As Reynolds went for the steal, his body was out of bounds, so give the ball to Iowa after the timeout. 11-22 left to play. First half, Indiana trails 2018. Back after these messages from your local stations. This is the Raycom Sports Network. They have a two-point lead, 2018. Winters as they go around the horn. Val Barnes back to Winters. This is Luke and Bill. They do a good job of getting the ball, Laz, to opposite sides of the floor, passing through the lane or across the top. Well, what Indiana's got to be careful of is that in, inlet pass into the uh, three-second area. Let Iowa take that shot from the outside, but don't give up that rebound. 
Hard pass through the hands of Val Barnes. Will give Indiana the ball. Indiana owns the series 77 54. And they've won three of the last four, but Indiana still plays from deficit here in Carver Hawkeye. Won, Indiana won here last year, and of course lost that ball game last year at Bloomington. And Iowa surprised them. And Iowa, Indiana ended up tying Ohio State. Well, Iowa did a good job as Bailey sent it just a little bit too deep. Back once again as Henderson gets his hands on the ball and deflects it through the hands of looking bill you really have to be looking over your shoulder as you're coming back on defense because I will wing that ball right by your head if you're not watching it and give themselves a layup that time Indiana did not see the ball coming but I was not able to pick it up out of bounds to the Hoosiers just five to two right now Indiana on a good pace in the turnover Graham goes for three misses it it goes over the top of the board so the Hoosiers Somewhat cool from outside three point range nonetheless still trail by only two as you look at Dr. Tom Davis in his sixth year here with the Hawkeyes. Saw briefly the time remaining ticking down to 10 minutes first half. Webb almost travels with it and Indiana just can't come up with a handle as Chris Reynolds makes a valiant effort to pick it up and get the dribble started. Indiana leads the conference in steals this year, just over five a ball game. And you can see they uh, really the guards can pick those things up. Coach Knight directing some traffic out there. But this time, just out of bounds, Reynolds couldn't grab it. It's still 2018. Both teams struggling to try to take command of this game. Smith tries to shake. Oh, there's the pass and the alley -oop. And it finds the target as Webb gets his first basket. Reynolds Graham Iowa by four 22 18 the zone Indiana attacks at 2 3 the shots are going to come from the baseline that doesn't go there's Henderson with a big rebound and that's goaltending count the basket winners well over the rim but the ball was in the cylinder and the, the basket to number 44. our next televised game as you look at the replay of this and watch the goaltending. Henderson in good position there. We talked about a rebounding the ball well inside the cylinder as it gets knocked away. Well, you see the leaping ability though of winner. Yeah, he can really Henderson get up. In the bucket. Well, we were going to tell you our next televised game will be next week when Indiana will be playing Wisconsin at Assembly Hall. There, there's the game, March 12th, 8 o'clock at Assembly Hall. That is a Thursday game, so we invite you to be with us on the Raycom Sports Network for that one. Another turnover by Iowa gives Indiana the ball once again and a chance to go for the tie, 22-20. We talked about the turnovers in the open. Looks like they're favoring Indiana right now as Iowa gets a, gives Indiana the ball back there easily, just stepping on the line. Henderson has it blocked going up by Earl. 55 block shots coming into this game. A whistle, and that foul goes against Indiana. That'll be on Greg Graham, his first. As he and a Hawkeye had uh, a little argument about who was going to beat whom to the position. 14 fouls, uh, Iowa with three, so still a ways from shooting, and we only have 8.52 left and a half. Looking bell comes out. Moses back in for Iowa. And right into the hands of Allen Henderson. The team worked today on the out of bounds plays. Iowa runs some three or four special plays inside, and none of them has worked yet. Indiana comes up with a steal there. Anderson from the side. Nope, it's not going to go. Over to Moses. He'll pull up for three. Yes! A three point basket for James Moses. 25 20. Iowa back on top. By five and right right through and they call Bailey for the foul as he tried to split the defense. He used his left hand to try to keep the defense away. Watch. He does the right thing, cuts through. He gets his feet tangled up and they're the left hand to keep Street from getting the ball. 
So the Hoosiers on the verge of going down by two more at least, trailing by five. And they have to gather the offense and defense together. Earl, that's a pass. That is not a shot. I think that was a shot. He you just think it was? shot the basket. Indiana ball. Uh, and Indiana's going to get it out of bounds, though. Crucial part of the game right here. Iowa is using their turnovers to get some easy baskets. Indiana's got to get it in, get down, and get back to scoring, and then use their half-court defense. There it is. Indiana effectively breaks it across over to Henderson. Up to the glass for two. He goes right through Earl for those. Pretty good play by Henderson. He knows Earl's a great shot blocker. He used some fakes and then used his height to get that shot away. Street, Moses. Moses has been the hot hand. Street, pretty good shooter, but he's being used as a key or a trigger or a feeder. Now he moves down in shooting position. That's where he likes to fire. And Anderson is called for a pushing foul as Earl and Anderson fight for position. Well, Anderson's playing behind Earl. Coach does not agree with that call. Look, Anderson's holding his position, although right there, he did put that right hand on the side of Earl. I think up till then, though, he's doing a good job. Seven and a half minutes left, first half. Indiana trails 25-22, and we'll be back after these messages. Just one on Anderson, while Iowa is committed but three. Up to the line, up to the glass, and Val Barnes for his second field goal. And Indiana calls timeout. So the Hoosiers not recognizing how they're going to get it through that press call timeout immediately. 7-22. Left to play is 27-22 Iowa. This is the Raycom Sports Network. Now there's the score, 27-22. Indiana will have another opportunity now to try to break this full court press. And they do so pretty easily this time. Well, they run Here's two Reynolds. different presses. The full court press is a man to man. They try to prevent the inbounds pass. This is a three quarter trap. They let the pass come in and then try to steal as you bring it up. Hasn't been nearly as successful as uh, the full court in turn making Indiana turn it over. Reynolds. And then Graham. Drop back into a 3 2 zone that Indiana's been taking that outside shot with. Well, they try the alley oop, and Henderson and Cheney were both there. Back out to Smith, top of the key. That's three. Three-point basket for Kevin Smith. Their outside shooting game is on. Anderson back out to Cheney, and around it goes to Graham. That is a nice soft shot by Calvert Cheney. Had a hand on his arm when he shot, but no foul. Instead of taking the shot, Cheney's using a dribble. Both times he scored, he's taken one dribble close to the basket and hit the shot. Smith. Stepped and on, on the line. line. That's now Winters. Winters saying he got pushed. Sylvester was watching the baseline and the feet and made the call on the out of bounds. Tom Davis looks on. Let's watch now. Here's the dribble. Pass to Winters. And right there, you see the, the hand on Cheney. But uh, Sylvester was looking down at the feet. Cheney gets it across. So, jump trap on him, but they release it quickly. Here's Cheney underneath to Anderson to the glass. Good arch past Earl that time. He was just too close into the basket for Earl to try to stop that shot. Henderson wisely just went up quickly with it. Hoosiers down by four, 36, a uh, 32, 26. Pressure on Earl. Back out, tipped away. Indiana with the ball. Here's Cheney. Over to Henderson, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line, and that foul is on Street. Boy, some great plays there, too. And a technical foul against the Iowa bench. And that came against one of the assistants, but it will still be two shots because it was on the bench. Street does not feel that he blocked that shot. Uh, he feels he blocked it without making the foul. 
And it was one of the assistants on the Iowa bench that drew the foul. This is a big turnaround right here. Well, you know, if Indiana can make the baskets, but uh, at the same time, Indiana will have the ball on possession. Let's watch Henderson. He's shooting the foul. Indiana will uh, should get some free throws if they call that a shooting foul, which they do. This is Henderson shooting the two free throws, uh, getting fouled in the act of shooting. And now Cheney. Now Cheney will shoot the technical. Well, now they're saying, uh, let's see if Cheney, it's a bench because there's two shots. So the personal's on street. The bench foul. Now Indiana gets the ball back because of the technical foul. This is the second. However, the Hoosiers will have the ball. So now you've got a possible five point play, and Indiana's only down one. 30 29 is the score. A very the big play in this ball game. And it started with Indiana able to break away on a steal and turned into a fast break. Now let's see what the Hoosiers can do now. 527 remaining. Henderson knocked away. It'll be Indiana ball. Getting a hand on the ball over there. Got to use the pass fake. Street yep. is uh, is difficult to throw that ball around. There's a hard pass from Cheney out to Reynolds. They're playing tough defense, this Hawkeye team. Over to Cheney for three. That's a high. Indiana up in the air for that. Down on the court for it. Jump ball. Possession to the Hoosiers. Well, that's good hustle by both teams. You are exactly right. High in the air. And then everybody down on the floor. That's what the coaches like to see. Indiana still trying to get that lead after the three-point play uh, with the free throws. Last, what makes this Hawkeye team so tough here? It's the style of play. The fans really get into this game. It spurs the players on. They seem to have more energy here at home because this is a tough style of ball to play. Graham has been ineffective scoring. Let's see if he can step up. Anderson Cheney all alone for two. Yes Indiana has a lead. It's second lead of the game. Cheney's been working the baseline and now you see him pop out to the top of the key something Iowa had not seen. It still gets him an open shot. Skinner tries to draw the foul. Indiana tries to steal the ball. Reynolds, however, didn't get control from Barnes. And a foul. That'll send A.C. Earl to the line on the foul. That's going to be on Cheney. That is the seventh team foul against Indiana. Iowa with four. And A.C. Earl, who has hit both his other opportunities to complete three-point plays, will be shooting one and one. Well, it's interesting that, you know, last the reason why I bring it up is because their six losses are on the road. Right, they're on a seven game winning, winning streak here at home. Well, I'll take that back. It's not six games. Uh, uh, five of their six losses are on the road. Indiana violates the lane. And that's going to give Earl another shot. And Earl hesitates at the top of this yep. free throw. The first time he shot, Indiana also went over the line, but he made it. This time he misses it. And Indiana gets the uh, uh, penalty. And by the way, Earl has set a Big Ten record this year with 55 block shots. See that little hesitation there will draw teams off till you get used to it. Uh, Henderson pulls down the second miss. Here comes Indiana with a one point lead, 31 30. Now, here's where the patience is important for Indiana. They've shown it so far. They don't want to try to build the lead too quickly, Les. They want to make the uh, Iowa defense work a little bit, but you can see how quick they are with their hands to move that ball around. Jay Webb back in for the Hawkeyes. And the constant substitution. Tom Davis teams are really known for this, bringing fresh guys in all the time and really keeping the pressure on you. But Indiana's got to use some of that 45 second clock and get the shot they want. Graham, they threaten the trap. Down to 14 seconds on the shot clock. Up steps Reynolds. No. Tipped away back into the hands of the Hoosiers. Clock is reset. Down underneath the Cheney. Up and in. Well, there's an example where he could have waited uh, for the clock a little more, but he had the easy shot, so he went up with it. 
33 30 Indiana's biggest lead street starts stops throws it away saved under the basket and off the knee of Reynolds oh what a break and it bounces off his knee you cannot fault however the hustle well Indiana had two players trailing that play and it could have been an easy basket but Reynolds took his eye off that ball and it goes out of bounds Graham is out Bailey is back in so it's Bailey Henderson Cheney Anderson and Reynolds 11 turnovers for Iowa just the opposite of what you would anticipate with the full court pressure I was putting on Indiana's handling it very well Barnes out high once again the offense very very high this is Webb see with Earl out there in, in Iowa doesn't have anybody really post up and Indiana can keep that pressure on outside extend that defense Smith shakes Bailey drops to the glass for two here's Cheney cross court to Henderson lead up to Reynolds he over dribbled that time yeah, he, he sure got across did. the line and should have picked it up and waited for teammates but yet that reverse dribble cost him the turnover takes it right through everybody loses the ball to Anderson Boy, Cheney with a hand in that passing lane that caused that turnover Cheney steps up but he travels I don't know about that I don't know about that I thought the pivot foot had been established but uh, I'm not going to fault Jody Jody makes the call substitutions Earl back in now Nova coming in for Indiana Skinner is back in for the Hawkeyes replacing Smith and uh, Rodell Davis number 15 seeing his first action here's Meats guarding Skinner Street Earl and a whistle and a push they'll keep it there send Earl back to the line again now that's a different offense with Earl in there you can see they have the post player they can line up and Anderson's got to play behind and yeah needs help that whole Iowa offense comes a lot closer to the basket Indiana is still clinging to a one point lead but AC Earl is back at the line Earl averages 19 and a half points over the season he has eight already and you see where he ranks with block shots he already has one in this game puts that one up to tie the game Earl is a junior from Moline Illinois second off the glass soft off the rim he has 10 points and immediately into a press Indiana has nothing to help over here on this side now Meeks to Bailey Damon's got to be ready for that shot when the ball swings back around Bailey has but two points looking inside Looking right down the top. What kind of a zone is this last? It's one, two, two. You can see they put a big player out there on the top. And that shot's got to come from the wings or down the baseline. Because they pack it in close in the middle. Over. It's not going to fall. Knocked away back into the hands of Bailey. Indiana getting some breaks, deflecting the ball back out. It's a smart play, and I've seen that a lot more. Players know they can't bring it down. They tap it back out. Bailey for three. No. Over the back, and that's going to be on Cheney, his second. Oh. Cheney tried to make the reach over the smaller Skinner at only six foot tall, but he got caught. Skinner will go to the line. Well, Skinner is a pretty good free throw shooter. Averages 81%. Substitution Graham back in, replacing Cheney, who will leave with two fouls and a minute 28 left to play. We're in the first half action. There's Cheney and the rest of the coaching bench and players. Skinner's first point. He is a senior from Palmer, Iowa. Averages only about four and a half. But gets both these. 
And another substitution as Smith replaces Skinner. So it's a 36-33 Iowa lead. And after Indiana had led by three, Iowa has fought its way back to take command once again. Up to Nover. Now meets. Near turnover there. Henderson wasn't looking. Jamal was ready to make a pass. Graham. Bailey. Inside. Nover. Fall away. Nope. And the rebound pulled down by the Hawkeyes. Here's Smith. Barnes steps up. Henderson is fouled. He'll go to the line. Winters gets across the wrist of Allen Henderson. It's only five fouls, so uh, Indiana not going to be able to go to the line. They only got uh, 19 free throws in the first game. They're averaging about 29 a game, so Iowa really keeping Indiana off the line. That's a hard pass to make. How hard do you throw it? But Indiana's executed it pretty well, and then turn it over immediately on the bad pass. Smith gets the penetration. Gets the ball off the rebound. Shot clock is off, so Iowa can turn this into the last shot. You can see the other players. That's the game clock, so a key offensive rebound could give Iowa the last shot of the half. Barnes will back it out. 17 seconds, 16. AC Earl, he wants to shoot it. No good. Rebound and over. Meeks, he can't get it off before the buzzer. And we've come to the end of the first half. It's been a seesaw somewhat of a first half, but nonetheless, a game that's been controlled for the most part by Iowa. Halftime score, Iowa 36, Indiana 33. Tonight's game is brought to you in part by Bud Light. Everything else is... It's turned out to be a good first half for Iowa. They've kept themselves in a position. Indiana in the game in Bloomington was able to jump out and, and hold on to that victory, but not the case here today. But look for Iowa to use the same kind of game plan they did in the first half. Indiana's got to collect them scale and get some help uh, scoring-wise. Uh, Cheney is doing all he can, but he's good, like you said, Chuck, needs help from the other teammates. It will be Iowa's ball when play is resumed. Let's take a look at Ohio State's remaining schedule. Uh, this, of course, obviously a factor in Indiana's going for the Big Ten Championship. Two home games with uh, two lower-level teams, Northwestern Illinois, and then a tough road game at Minnesota. So Ohio State may not lose again, which makes all these, uh, these four games so important for Indiana to win the outright title. All right, Indiana immediately in its man-to-man -man defense as Cheney comes out to pick up Barnes. Moses with Bailey on him. Here's Earl down underneath Street, who tries to work his way right through and uh, gets crossed up into the arms of Greg Graham, who's called for the foul. Graham's job there is to come to help off his man who is near the foul line and prevent that, that drive if he can. He got there just a step late and got the foul called in the process of shooting, so Street gets two shots. Street at the line to shoot and uh, hits the first. Chris is a sophomore from Indianola, Iowa. His first point, not a factor in the first half, but he averages 10 and a half. Second is also good. So he has his first two points, and Indiana is back to a deficit of five, 38-33. There's a pressure by Street. Bailey breaks it. Gets it right back from Anderson. Good cut there by Henderson as he moved into the lane. Bailey couldn't get the pass to him, though. Graham was open momentarily. Anderson down to the line. They threatened the trap on him down there. Here's Graham on top. Anderson straight working on him. Bailey. Man-to-man -man defense by Iowa. Shot clock at 10. 
Cheney pulls up and just as gracefully as the end of the first half hits his first field goal. Well, he is really on fire, especially inside that three point uh, area. Now the freshman is guarding Street, Allen Henderson. Loose ball on the court, but Iowa recovers. He'll shoot from there, Allen. Don't give him too much room. Moses. Now Smith. Almost lost it. Right through the traffic over Henderson. There's Anderson to pick off the board. Good defense by Henderson. He got the hand up on that shot and he changed the trajectory a little bit. Up and in right around AC Earl Cheney. Cheney makes it look so easy, but it is not as he comes into the lane and it hangs in the air with that little half uh, half hook shot with the left hand. 38 37 just a one point deficit for Indiana. Good start here the first of the second half by Indiana. They're down to one point only two minutes in the half. Moses for three. Yes. Oh my. That's this young man's hot hand. He was 27 of 88 from that range coming into tonight's game and he has three three pointers already. He's got his confidence up and he has got to stay up on him when he's behind that line. Bailey pulls up at the line. It's not going to fall. Cheney two more. He's doing everything in today's ball game as he comes up with a rebound and then gets the shot. And there are three more. Foul Barnes. And right away you can see them build that lead to five points. As I mentioned at the half, it's so difficult to get the tempo in the game. But Cheney is incredible as he hits a 10-footer from inside the foul line. And he has 25. Here's Smith. Anderson. Big board by Eric. 44-41. Back to Anderson from the line. No! Boy, that ball was around and in two well, times. Nearly had it twice. You're right. A good shot, though, by Anderson. Nobody on him. He, he was wide open. Barnes and Smith. Two man game. Earl knocked away. Here comes Cheney. Oh, knocked out of bounds right off the knee again. The Indiana just can't put the ball on the floor. He tried to get there with too few of dribbles. And as he tried to push that ball in front of him, it went off his knee. Indiana missing a golden opportunity there, and the bench not very happy. Skinner back in for Iowa, replacing Smith. You see Earl is still in the lineup. They relieve Earl quite a bit. I've always wondered about his stamina, but he's a really solid ball it's player. It's got to be a tough pace for yeah. a big man, especially. And you're right, Chuck, they do give him some breathers. But when he's in there, he's the center of attention. Oh, my. Anderson. Oh, I thought he threw it away, but there was Greg Graham. Cheney. Now Bailey trying to direct the offense, pulls it out momentarily. They got a stack on the right side, Indiana does. Can do nothing with it at this moment. Anderson a little too far out to shoot behind the screen. Cheney, Bailey for three. No. Anderson knocked away. There's going to be a foul. That goes against Iowa. And that'll be on Val Barnes. That's his second. It's a long pass. Let's watch how Anderson gets in position here. He just. Got his frame in there and kept it alive. 15-41 left to play in the game. It's 44-41 Iowa. And we'll be back after these messages. With time back in, 15-41 to play. Iowa still clings to a three-point lead, 44-41. The Hawkeyes led 36-33 at halftime. James Moses, the leading scorer for Iowa with 13. And Calvert Cheney has just burst open for eight quick points here for Indiana. He has 25. Well, he's done it too single handedly on the offensive end, and it's kept Indiana within striking range. Six out. out of eight from three point range for the Hawkeyes tonight. 18 to three advantage. That's why they have that lead. Bailey gets it right back, steps up. He elects not to shoot, however. Graham will let three fly. That's not going to go. 
And a rebound into the hands. Now. Yeah, little Skinner. Troy Skinner at six feet. Shortest player out there on the floor. Pulls that one away. Indiana's outside shooting totally ineffective in this game last. Uh, that was safe. a big reason they played so well in Bloomington. Yeah. And if that's the shot that they're going to get, they've got to be able to put that down here to get back in the lead. Looking Bill. Around it goes. This is Barnes. Winters to Webb. Again, with Earl out of the lineup, the offense really seems to struggle for Iowa. Skinner trying to find inside. It goes right into the hands of Henderson. He's fouled. And that's going to be on Webb, and that's his first. Great half court defense there by Indiana. Just would not give that open shot away. And the turnover. And Street is back in replacing Winters. It does allow Iowa to set the press up, even though they didn't score. And Street comes up with a steal. And a jump ball. Great call by Ted Valentine. It'll be Indiana ball. And it could have been a travel. As it looked like uh, looking Bill shuffle his feet watch under the basket now a good steal by actually tipped it right out of Henderson's hand watch now there's a couple shuffle steps yep. there that didn't get called and that is a good block Henderson right on top of the ball Bailey breaks it right up through the traffic almost lost the ball again backs it out it's so difficult to break through that trap and still control your dribble. Cheney hanging around that three point line. Yep. See, Cheney feels that rhythm that Bailey doesn't quite have. To Anderson. Zone now by Iowa. It's been man to man to this point. And now Indiana regroups. Right back to Bailey. Good rotation of the ball. Anderson. He'll fire. Not going to go. Fans wanted a foul on Anderson on the follow from the baseline. No call. Straight lets three go. Nope. And chased down in the corner. Arm on the back by Lukingbill, but no call. Cheney steps up. Won't go. Off the rim. Pull down. Here's Webb after the rebound to Skinner for three. Oh, that's wide off the mark. Right through the traffic. Bailey makes the save. Here's Graham. Two on one. Indiana. Won't go. Tipped in by Cheney. A tough play there. He cut the distance down so that one guy could guard both. He exactly. and Calvert. And luckily missed the shot, though, right into Calvert's hands. Boy, the pace really quick up and down the floor now. 44-43. Iowa by one. We have 13 minutes, five seconds left to play in this game. At this pace, it's going to be a question of who runs out of gas well, first. That's, that's exactly right. And I think that Iowa being used to this, Indiana's trying to slow it down as best they can. Webb, Luke and Bill. Webb, now Skinner. They back it out. 14 seconds on the clock, trying to get something going. Takes it all the way in. Barnes tries to work past Graham. Will shoot. Street fights in. And we have a foul. Well, Street was just all over the back of Indiana. No call. And then they call a foul on Henderson. This Iowa is a great rebounding team. Yes. Watch Anderson does a nice job. Look at they fight inside for position. Calvert gets bumped out of the way. And Street comes up with it. And that's three fouls now on Cheney. All right. It was on Cheney instead of Henderson. As we said, Street is a good free throw shooter. About 70% hit his last two. 45-43. As Iowa continues to play just two or three points better than Indiana. Now 46-43. Again with the pressure. Nover. And up it comes. Here's Cheney. Back to Graham. Back to Cheney. That's a way to break it with some quick passing instead of that dribble through the double team. Meeks says Graham lets three go. He hits it. Good confidence. He's missed a couple. But he didn't hesitate when he had the opening this time and keeps uh, ties the score now for Indiana. 46 all in the AC Earl. Street jammed up under the basket, tipped. Moses. And travel is called. Came from the outside official, Jody Sylvester. 
A lot of times you look high to watch for those fouls on the shots, but somebody's got to look low on the feet that time. The call goes against Iowa. It comes Indiana two on two drops it off. Nover. No good. Look at Meeks pull smart, that one away. Smart play dribbles back outside to set the offense. Henderson Indiana can take the lead underneath. They try to hit Nover and it's going to be Indiana ball on really a no, dangerous pass. That's a bad pass right. No way to get that pass through there. 1147 left to play timeout. We're tied at 46 back after these messages from your local stations. This is the Raycom Sports Network. It's really picked up the slack. With a great scoring day 27. Here so far today. Cheney cutting through after the pass. Here's the shot and two and he has 29. He's got 12 here in the second half. He is really playing a great game single handedly kept Indiana in, in the game. Now he's got him in the lead by two. You saw briefly the shooting percentages of the Hawkeyes Anderson back in as Nover sits down for Indiana. Hoosiers 48 46. Now uh, it's not a crunch time yet but it's critical for Indiana to play some good D and uh, try to let their patience help them extend the lead here. A whistle. There's a hand on check by Calvert Cheney that called him for his fourth foul. Well that's a big call right there. He's the offense Indiana has needed. But now that's four fouls on him. Well what do you do. You have to take him out. Here comes Bailey. You do have to take him out. The, the more important question is when do you put him back in. That's right. Exactly. And he's barking. OK Bailey's game against Illinois 14 points five assists five rebounds fairly good game in a not so good game for Indiana from the corner that's down in the well out Smith dumps it off to looking bill looking bill hits. He's not a scorer, only averages five, but he gets a big one there. Well, with Cheney out of the lineup, Indiana's got to look for somebody else to do the scoring. Still that zone now by Iowa, and somebody's got to step right up right away Who's and take be? those shots that Cheney had. Well, let's see which way they elect to go. Henderson standing on the wing. Now Indiana starts a little motion. Well, they moved Bailey inside and brought Graham out to the outside. So it looks like they're trying to get Bailey that shot that Cheney had been getting. See Earl. There's the step up. Here's Henderson. Block. Anderson pulls it down. Anderson goes up. Block. No foul. I tell you, Earl is amazing. There's two blocks inside of five seconds by the big guy from Iowa. Comes right up the side. No chance for a foul there. And uh, Indiana gets it out of bounds. Street is out, or Street is back in, rather. Blocked away again. That's going to be Indiana ball. This crowd is still in the game. And when you put 15,000 people in Carver Hawkeye Arena with their Hawks, yeah, they're not going to go away. Indiana's no, going to have to do it on their own. Oh, that's a miraculous shot. They call an offensive foul on Greg Graham. For using his arms, Valentine makes the call. And that's the third on Graham. And again, that was Earl back on defense, trying to prevent that shot. Graham was able to get the shot away, but he caused the contact to pick up his third foul. That's the 14th foul against Indiana. And we're still tied at 48. Smith. Back to the street. Inside to AC Earl. Dumps it back to Smith. Back to Earl. A little two man game going there. Tipped away. A safe foot race. But it's won by Smith. Now Iowa tries to set its half court. And a hold against Indiana. Eric was trying to get the jump ball call there. And instead draws the foul. That's the third on Anderson. Staying behind Earl. 
Anderson comes in to help, but the foul call from underneath. It's and travel. Boy, neither team is really getting any control of this ball game. That's why it's a tie right now. It's, it looks to me like this is going to be this, the game the rest of the way in. Just an ebb and flow all the way. Neither team able to get control. Off the legs is Henderson. We'll get a reset on a five second clock. Smart play there to bounce it off street. But he needs help. Somebody's got to get open to give him an avenue to make that pass. Who is open against a press like this? Is it the man flashing to the ball as or what? You just look for an open man? They set screens. If they switch, then the guy who set the pick will be over. If they don't switch, the guy who's, who the pick was set for should be open. It varies every time. Okay, Indiana gets it in. Meeks looks. Indiana sets its offense. We're tied at 48. We've been here for a long time. Nine and a half minutes left in this game and it's a tough one a whistle and that stops the action and it's going to go against Iowa it's a hold inside on street as Henderson tried to come in to try to get position is up looking at the scoreboard only the third foul so he a long way from shooting still Bailey. Indiana really has to get something in gear here. They've got to find a seed. Whether it's Bailey, there's a step up. And that comes up short. Bailey gets it right back, feeds it back out, got away with a push. Here's Henderson. That's not going to go. Well, the shooting really down. Uh, now the Cheney's out. Yeah, Indiana's just really off in shooting. They let Smith come right to the basket. Here's a lead. Graham. Block. On Smith. It's Kevin Smith's first foul. Indiana's really crashing the boards. Let's watch the play. Smith not quite set. Street gets the block. But uh, Cheney, Greg Graham, gets to go to the line for two shots. Either team uh, over the limit, five for Indiana, four for Iowa. We're down to 8.53. But in this style of game, up and down, you don't see a lot of fouls committed. Graham gives Indiana the lead again, 49-48. Now 50-48. He has five points, but has not been a scoring factor. Indiana's got to find a way to keep this a half-court game. The edge, obviously, in the full-court game to Iowa. And Indiana's defense making it much more difficult for Iowa to score, especially when Earl is out of the lineup as he is right now. Street gets it out of the corner. Moses, now Smith, back to Street. Street playing post both sides. Henderson leaning on him. Moses tries to go inside, forces up the shot, but gets it. Well, that's just a tough shot. The defense was there. He just made a difficult shot. Okay, there's the open man. Anderson steps back. Oh, that's awful. Just an awful shot. Indiana ball as Iowa just can't handle the board. Well, the coaches now are in a little chess game. Uh, Davis has A.C. Earl on the bench, giving him a rest. Coach Knight's got Calvert Cheney on the bench, both of their horses. Who's going to pull the trigger first to get their big man in there? Well, Earl is there for rest. Cheney is there because of four fouls. Two. Give that to Greg Graham. Good shot there by Graham. Picking up some of that slack with Cheney out right now. 7.47 left in the half. Moses dishes to Street. Out to Smith. 7.35 left to play. Barnes handles now streaked. Again, everybody is a threat from outside on this team. There's a step up by Moses. And for the Hawkeye, James. Jamal went for the steal and didn't get it. And ended up giving Moses a good shot and a chance to set the press up. We're tied again at 52. Anderson challenges. Stripped away. Stripped back. 
Oh, what a move by Greg Graham. Oh, he re spun dribble and then came right back for a big play. Two great baskets by Graham. And Indiana leads by two. This is where that half-court defense could be so important. Indiana's got to stop Iowa one of these times. Down he the gets floor. the basket, draws the foul on Graham, his fourth. Moses just has a hot hand. 19 points for James Moses. And he'll go to the line with a game tied at 54 and a chance to give the Hawkeyes the lead once again. Well, Iowa's made some tough shots here in the last couple minutes. Well guarded, off balance. They've dropped. Now they have uh, the scoreboard has corrected me there. That's only the third foul on Greg Graham. Moses gets the free throw. He's an 85 percent shooter. He has 20 up. It comes to Anderson. And now Bailey with Meeks bringing it across and the Hoosiers trailing by one. Bailey, step in, up, delay, not going to go. There he is again, and wisely backs it out, and a whistle. And we'll stay at this end, as I believe Winter has fouled Anders. See, with Earl out of the lineup, they don't have nearly as big a group. Indiana trying to post up inside. 621 left to play, 55-54 Iowa. We'll be back after these messages. After that ball game to say their farewell to the crowd in Bloomington. Indiana with the ball trailing by one 55 54 with six minutes 15 seconds left in this game. Anderson. There he is. Oh a nice shot. Allen Henderson sort of spread eagle. His eighth point. The Hoosiers back in front by one. Same situation. Indiana's got to stop Iowa one of these times down the floor. This is it. Here comes Meeks. Two on one on Skinner. Pull up. Up to the glass goes Graham. And then they turn it into a quick basket. And Indiana down one. All of a sudden comes up three. Now these leads are short live though, Laz. Five and a half minutes. 535. Winters and Skinner with the ball outside. Trying to get a post. There Rolls he is. Back in the ball game. Earl is opposite the ball. Now they're, they're trying to get him on the ball side, Laz. And Indiana's got some good overplay. 513. There he is. Wow. And he travels. They want to keep him on that side. You're right, Chuck. So they go to the baseline with that right hand. But he shuffled the feet. And now at 511. Indiana with a three point lead a chance to go up five here and Calvert Cheney's teammates have picked up the scoring slack since he's been out of the ball game. Up it comes to Graham the Hoosiers break. It. Time to run the half court right. offense now time to start using that clock. OK five minutes exactly five. I mean, minutes. If you're going to control the game if you're going to do it the last three minutes that's the most crucial time to be in control. Indiana leading by three two points here would be a bonus if they can step in and get him. Indiana stacking right against the zone. They take the ball away from the stack. Anderson's behind the screen. There's Henderson and it's not going to go. Good shot though. Same play same shot he was open exactly. on before. A three ties it. Into Earl. Turns over Anderson. Two more. I tell you, this young man from about 12 to 14 feet is exceptionally difficult to beat, Les. He is, and that's why they've got him in there at crunch time. And you see how that one basket gets the score down to one, but gets the crowd in the ball game. Anderson. And around they go. Bailey. They had Anderson momentarily. There's a screen. Steps in. Goes up for the shot, gets it right back, goes inside. He's fouled, goes to the line. Greg Graham playing an exceptional second half. He really has. He's got the shot and then fouls it up wisely. He 
He's able to get another chance, and now Calvert Cheney comes back in the lineup. 3.50 to go. Luke Cheney comes in for Noble. Okay, Lukingville has uh, picked up his first foul. It's Anderson, Henderson, Cheney, Graham, and Bailey. Greg is a very talented junior out of Indianapolis Warren Central. And hits them both. 13 points. Timeout has been called. Three minutes, 50 seconds. Yeah, exactly left. 60 57 Indiana. Back after these messages from your local stations. This is the Raycom Sports Network. These are the tough 350. Let's play for 350 here. Play your game. Keep your focus. Set your concentration. Then adds what he wants to happen. Our defense is the key. Indiana's got to stop Iowa on this half-court offense. Well, that's Moses and underneath, and that's a shove by Henderson. They gave up too easy yeah. a shot right there. Now they let and Street not inside. A, not able to come up with the rebound. See the foul trouble. Graham with three, Cheney with four. Winners, the only Hawkeye uh, with more than two. Street misses the shot. Big break there for Indiana. So the Hoosiers with a three point lead, 60 57, and the ball, three minutes, 25 seconds left to go. On Anders offense, Indiana needs to run more time off the clock, and on defense, get a hand on the face of that shooter and only allow him one shot. It, it really comes down to, to that strategy on both ends for Indiana. 19 seconds on the shot clock, so the Hoosiers are very patient in just trying to run the time down now. If they can get a good shot, free somebody like Cheney. Whistle. That basket's not going to go. They're going to call the foul on A.C. Earl. Anderson had set the pick. Earl was trying to come through it to put pressure on Cheney. Let's watch. There's the pick by Anderson. Cheney just, or Earl comes right through it to try to get that uh, pressure, but the foul committed. Anderson at the line. Both teams are over the limit. Now Meeks back in defensively for Bailey. Jamal out of Freeport, Illinois, playing his senior year. Chris Reynolds is back in. Now we've got some guard quickness. Cheney will come out. And that's another defensive ploy. Right, Cheney comes out on defense, so he doesn't have a chance to pick up that fourth foul. Probably comes back in on offense, where he can uh, uh, use his great game today to try to get Indiana two more. Four points, the biggest lead Indiana's had in the ball game. 2.59 left. Anderson will shoot the second. Gets it to fall. He has 10. Indiana has three players in double figures now. Anderson, Cheney with 29, and Greg Graham with 13, all in the second half. 62 57. Moses lets three fly, and Anderson plays in front of Earl. Oh, Good what block, a block out. out. Exactly. He kept Earl, a great rebounder, away from that ball. Calvert Cheney on the Indiana bench has got a big bear hug on Dan Dockage. He wants to get back in that game so bad, but he's so pleased with what his teammates have done without it. Now they want a foul. Give up the ball, Henderson. There. And they're going to call a block, I think, on Reynolds. Yep, they do. They call the blocking foul on Reynolds. Didn't quite have the position. Indiana started playing two-man tag with the ball next to the sideline. And that's just a third defensive player there. Iowa comes up with control of the ball. Henderson loses control. Not a bad play here by Reynolds. You want to avoid that fast break. At least uh, Iowa's got to earn it from the foul line, but still gives him a chance to put the press on. Cheney checks back in the lineup. Moses, 85% shooter with a one and one And Henderson with good block out, this time by Graham taking Street off the ball. Two big free throws missed now by Iowa. 
Indiana still having trouble getting the ball across. Well, Indiana sort of lethargically working it up that time against that trap. That's okay. They, they've got plenty right? of time. They still need to be able to run the clock, the shot clock, and get the good shot that they want. Cheney. Now Meeks. Anderson. Look for the defense to make a mistake. There it is. That's a good pass. But not a good shot by Jamal, so he brings it back out. Now they've got to get a shot. There's the cut by Graham. And the slap. And the foul. When you need a quick shot, Greg Graham is the guy to go to with that slashing cut into the lane. Tom Davis trying to cheer his team. Watch this. It's the cut inside. Earl slaps it away. Graham stays with it. And right there is the call. Earl's pleading his case. It actually goes against Street. But that slashing cut is what got Graham inside there. Looks like there's the foul there. Probably should have been on Earl instead of Street. Uh, Graham misses the first of two. And a 38. Not a big lead with this type of team. Not with a pressure it, team. No. At least it is two possessions. And Indiana still has a chance to come down on defense and again put the stop on it. Yep. Couldn't capitalize on either one of those. And now let's see what Iowa can do. They'll look from the three if they've got it. Smith Here's trying so. to direct something. Near steal by Henderson, but that's dangerous. Three by Smith. And a timeout has been called by Iowa. It's 62-60 Indiana. We'll be back after these messages. For Iowa in this contest, Indiana has but one. That came from Greg Graham to start his scoring in the second half. Pressure, and it comes. Here's Bailey across the baseline pass up to Cheney. Now Iowa's going to have to foul, or Indiana's going to be able to run off a lot of time off the clock and still get the free throws. You think they'd foul early for a couple of maybe an extra change of possession? Cheney. They're going to take the chance Indiana's going to miss the shot. Well, if Indiana has to shoot from outside last, that's that's probably pretty wise. Graham's going to have to do something with it. There's Bailey. Ten seconds. Back to Bailey. They want it in the hands of Graham. There's a hands-on by Moses that will send Bailey to the line. Moses got an arm over the shoulder of Damon Bailey. Bailey's and the guy you want to get the ball to with that ten seconds. He can create something either for himself or his teammates. Davis a little concerned on the Iowa bench. It's 19 fouls, so this will be a one and one. Should Indiana get fouled again, it'll be two. Coach Knight ready to make a substitution. Henderson goes in for Jamal to give Indiana some rebounding at the other end. And, that, and it, it takes Cheney off the line. That's maybe a chance to tap a missed free throw back so that Iowa can't come up with all five Iowa players at the free throw line. Important free throws. Here he misses. Indiana with a glorious opportunity to go up by four with 31 seconds remaining. And now Iowa with a chance to take the lead. You don't want this guy to shoot. He'll let two go. And Henderson with a big rebound for Indiana. And a foul will send Henderson to the line. That is the tenth foul against Iowa, so Indiana will be shooting two big, uh, big rebounds. Rebound. <laughs> exactly right. Iowa got a pretty good shot from Smith, who had made the three-pointer. That's probably the guy they wanted to take that shot. Henderson to rebound. Street had to foul. Henderson out the line. Indiana's missed their last three free throw attempts. Uh, let's see what the freshman can do. And Davis calls for timeout. We have 20 seconds remaining. It's Indiana by two, 62-60. Back after these messages. Star from Indianapolis rebuff will step to the line to shoot two free throws. Either way, though, Indiana's still in a pretty good shape. The free throws are important, but the defense, regardless, uh, Iowa's going to get the ball back, and that defense is going to be so important. Maybe Indiana would pick up 
full court just to give Iowa more time to bring the ball up. Or at least three-quarter court. Right. Oh, won't go. All 15,000 fans are up. As Henderson, good look at this young man, good concentration, sends the second on its way, and good. Great shot there. Crowd really on him. It takes a three-pointer to tie now. Changes the strategy on Iowa quite a bit. Moses, will he shoot it? He will. No. Over to Barnes. That's off the mark. Indiana has the ball. Four seconds. Three seconds. It's down to 2.8 and a foul. Two three-point shots by Iowa don't go. And then Indiana finally gets the rebound. As James Moses picks up his third foul. Now with just 2.8 left, one free throw would ice the game. And it would be two shots, so a little less pressure on this first one. Graham with 13 points all in the second half. What a half he's had. And now he's the man of the hour. All right, that's, that's a timeout now by Indiana. Timeout, Indiana. And you're right, that could be about it. Well, with 2-8, about the only way that they could get into this game right now would be to be fouled, make a three-point shot, and make it a four-point play. Right, so the lane. Bob Knight has just set 2.8 two seconds worth of strategies after the shot by Greg Graham. What a hero he has been in the second half. Misses the shot. They call Hi, timeout God. immediately. And we will stay at courtside. Well, your impression, Laz. It's hard, as we talked at the half, to get control of a game like this. But Indiana did in about the last three minutes. They finally had some stops on defense. They got great scoring out of Graham when Cheney was on the bench. Cheney has continued to have that great game with 29 points. And they didn't really get control till the very end. Then missed those four free throws in a row. We have two seconds remaining. Indiana leads 64-60. Tonight's game has been brought to you in part by meaning two seconds even. 64-60, it will be Iowa ball. Indiana can let them come down and score now because even a three-point basket would not give Iowa enough to get this thing into overtime. Okay, here it is, off the feet, it'll be one shot. It will not go, and that's it. A stealthily quiet crowd here at Carver Hawkeye Arena on that last shot. And Indiana comes away with a four point win, 64 to 60. Calvert Cheney with 29 points to lead both teams. Eric Anderson had 10. Greg Graham, just a marvelous game, 14 points. Alan Henderson had nine. And uh, Damon Bailey had uh, but two. The Napa most important part of the game, Laz. Take a look. I think, uh, well, there's the score up there, but there it is. It's we talked about it from the start. They never got control of the game till the very 